Hello and welcome to my impromptu live stream. Uh, I'm going to be doing a little preview of the cheap card sale that I am running tomorrow. I have been uh, kind of teasing it a little bit on my channel. I wanted to go through some of the cards that will be available. Also, a quick note for the baseball card group break that I am running tomorrow. There are still a number of spots left. I feel. Uh, it might be cool to mention that. JV Cards and Collectibles, thank you for joining us. Almost 10 p.m. Eastern time. Yeah, there's just a random uh, hangout at the moment. Let me go through. Um, like I said, there's going to be a cheap card sale that I'm running tomorrow. Um, it's basically $10 lots, $15 lots, $20 lots, plus shipping. Tons of cool stuff. It's available. I will do a little preview. Uh, I created different packs um, that go with it. Don't talk to robots. Thanks for joining us. Uh, one thing I will mention really quickly, um, that is, this is a Aaron Judge Bowman rookie card. There is the uh, rookie card right there in the corner. Uh, little, anyway, right there on the top. Uh, let me go through. I do have some spots uh, left for my group break. Uh, you're welcome to email me, Kevin's Budget Card Breaks at gmail.com. Come, I'll just go over the teams that are still left. At the $15 level, we have the Reds, the Cubs, the White Sox, the Mariners, the Astros, uh, the Red Sox. Both Sox teams are available. The Rays, the Padres, Cardinals, the Giants, and the Nationals. And at the $10 level, we have the Indians, Twins, Brewers, Rangers, Marlins, A's, Diamondbacks, and the Rockies. Should be a good time. It's going to be at 3 p.m. Eastern time live streaming uh, because I'm doing the card sale afterwards. So um, feel free to stop by, even if you're not part of the break, see what I open in the packs and what kind of cool stuff gets pulled. Lots of 2021 series one, and then some 2020, some 2017, 2016, and 2015. Anyway, I'll go through a little preview of the uh, cheap card sale. For example, I created these lots. I, I already have them in team bags and everything. Uh, I find it's easier to sell them as lots. Um, but this lot, for example, we got right here, Aaron Judge Bowman, rookie card from 2017. There's also, this is going to be all 2017. There's a Jose Martinez rookie, Ronaldo Lopez, another Ronaldo Lopez. Got not one, two, but three Luis Castillo rookie cards. Ian Happ, rookie debut for the Cubbies, regular Ian Happ rookie. Domingo German, uh, Benintendi. Rookie, he is now with the Kansas City Royals. And then one, two, three, four, five, five Trey Mancini tops, Chrome rookies, and then a Mitch Hanniger rookie. So, for example, this uh, this entire lot, this entire stack of cards would be going for like 15 bucks tomorrow plus shipping. Uh, and I have a whole bunch of these. So, anyway, that would be like 15 plus shipping for all those cards. Let me go through some other stuff. You guys in the comments, let me know. Um, you guys found any Series 1? Have you found any cool baseball card stuff going on in your life? Um, for example, that that lot would be, um, I could ship that one for about 5 bucks Because I always, by the way, when it comes to shipping, um, when it comes to shipping, uh, I like to do bubble mailer with tracking. I always, like, I always love to get tracking because uh, then there's accountability from the post office. So, yeah, that would be. 15 bucks for that lot, and then $5 of shipping, so 20 Rob Hurst, thank you for joining us. Let me just do a little roll call. JBK Cards and Collectibles is here. Don't talk to robots this year. Rob Hirsch is here. We have another Phillies fan. RJ is here um, watching the live auction over at Past is Alive. Okay, well, I'm just doing a preview and a, and a general hangout. I mean, if you guys do want to buy some stuff right now, I'm open to selling it now. Um, there'll be less competition. Uh, let me know. Anyway, I went through that first lot. The first lot would be 15. I got a couple of, uh, um, JVK. Yeah. You know what? You have my email, right? You can send me an email with a link to that giveaway. That'd be fantastic. Here's some, some interesting. So Bryce Harper, as we know, Philly right now, but he was a national. Got a cool, uh, pull this out of, I think it was series two last year, but it's not just your regular napkin. Cause it's got the blue. It's interesting because there's not a lot of blue in the, uh, Phillies. Uniform. You think it would be either white or red? Um, anyway, I hope 
RJ, I hope you get some cool stuff over on the passes live. I don't uh, know what I did. I didn't check out. I just kind of decided to do a, um, yeah, it's a blue napkin. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't lucky enough to pull like a P or a piece of the L or something like that. Um, anyway, as you know, with Bryce Harper, um, uh, RJ said, that's mine. Well, I'll tell you what, if you want it, uh, I'll, I'll sell you this entire lot. Uh, most of it is, honestly, most of it's Washington Nationals, Bryce Harper. Um, because let's be honest, that's where he played the longest. I mean, of course, he's going to end his career spending, like, what, 13 years? Um, so anyway, yeah. For example, like this lot here uh, would be like 15 bucks total plus shipping. So that's, the, that's, that's kind of, uh, well, Hirsch, if you want, like, I don't know. If you guys want to fight over it, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, if you guys wanted... If either one of you wanted it, it would be $15 plus shipping uh, for the entire lot. Um, I went through the previous lot. I have lots for everything. Like, I, uh, cause I find it's, um, yeah, I love it. RJ sounds super excited. We're stuck with him for 13 years, but at least it's what, 300 and something million? Uh, anyway, I have another lot here. This is a, this is a Vlad Guerrero Jr. Uh, it is from um, 2017. Um, yeah, I have a lot of lots. Most of these are going to feature rookie cards and or inserts, but uh, like this one's a less impressive stack. So this one would be only like 10 bucks plus shipping. But uh, I don't know why I pulled this one out. Honestly, I can't tell you the truth. There's a Blade, um, but that would be $10 plus shipping. There's a, I got some other cool stuff in here. There's a whole bunch of them. There's a, I don't think I have any Mets fans in the house. Um, I have this cool cinder guard. Honestly, RJ, if you wanted to sell, if you wanted me to sell you that, that Bryce Harper lot, or if, uh, or if, if Rob doesn't want it, um, I can sell it to you right now to tell you the truth. Um, um, way too many Castros in that one. Anyway, I pulled, so back to this one, I pulled this. It's a, it, they did rookie card medallion retrospectives which is really confusing this is from a 2018 set but it's it set commemorates noah Syndergaard's 2015 rookie most of the time they're not parallel this one was a green parallel numbered out of 50 look how cool that is huh um i uh see there it is contains one exclusive tops rookie cup greats medallion card uh, i was searching for an autograph but anyway so like that would be uh I don't know. I'd say uh, like 15 bucks plus shipping. I don't, we don't need Mets. Um, but anyway, I'm just doing a preview. I think the past is live is actually doing like actual sales right now. I'm just kind of previewing kind of messing me. Out. Anyway. Um, oh, here's a, here's an interesting Phillies one here. Cause you guys love relief pictures. I pulled this at a tops Chrome update last year. JD hammer rookie card autograph gold parallel. Numbered out of 50. Huh? Look at that. 50. Um, then also I pulled this out of Topps Chrome. This is a Trevor Williams uh, gold parallel number 50. And then I have this uh, Sam Hilliard uh, sepia graded like that. This would probably be like 15 bucks plus shipping. Um, anyway, I'm just going through like what. Yeah, the plan is because I'm. this is totally impromptu. Um, I want to do a preview, and the card sale itself is going to take place directly after the break ends tomorrow, which is why I am um, doing the break at 3 p.m. Eastern time, um, because I don't want to be up forever. Like, I'm going to be honest. I go to bed pretty early. I'm, a, I'm an, an early person. So um, Then we have another lot here, a whole bunch of Reese Hoskins rookies. Like, I just – I'm going to say a whole lot. Like, we've got just loaded. I don't know. Let me count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If you don't recognize these ones, these are the complete set. It says complete set here, variations. Complete set. This is the regular series one rookie card. Got a bunch of those as well. As you can see, did a lot of 2018. Whole bunch of 2018. And then I think these are all Bowman. I think these are all Bowman, yeah. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Anyway, so yeah, that's there's a lot of about fifty Reese Hoskins rookie cards. I think it's forty, but uh, yeah, this would be like twenty bucks plus shipping. Um, the plan is actually it's not going to be an auction; it's going to be a straight sale. 
So for example, um, I would say like this collection is, I'd say like this collection here is like 15 plus shipping. The first person to type 15 in the chat claims it, you know, that's how it's going to be. Um, Cause I have a lot that I want to get through and uh, auctions take a lot longer. Whereas if I just say like 15 bucks and you even type it while, um, if you guys even type it while I'm uh, flipping through them, then I can move on to the next thing quicker. But I don't know. If, I don't know if there's any um, Cardinals fans that will be showing up, but got a bunch of Flaherty's, just tons. This is all this is all Jack Flaherty's. And these these are all rookies too. They're not just like random inserts. They are all rookies. You can see how many different rookie cards all these people have. Um, so anyway, I want to go through. Also, like I mentioned before, there's still some spots in the break. Um, if you have not joined... Uh, I do want to say thank you to everyone who has bought a spot in the break, but if you have not joined, I will say it one more time. We have $15 spots and $10 spots available. I'll just flip through some cards really quickly. Uh, $15 level, we have Reds, Cubs, White Sox, Mariners, Astros, Red Sox, Rays, Padres, Cardinals, Giants, and Nationals. And at the $10 level, we have the Indians, the Twins, the Brewers, the Rangers, the Marlins, the A's, the Diamondbacks, and the Rockies. So if you want to join in, that'd be great. If you don't want to join in, if you just want to watch, it should be um, the Wilson PC. Uh, do I, I own currently one Russell Wilson rookie card, but it's not going to be a part of the card sale tomorrow. But I do own one. I pulled that out of a Fairfield box. Um, thank you for joining us, the Wilson PC, by the way. Um, by the way, JVK, I did get your email a second ago. I will go check out your giveaway when I'm done with the old live stream. Um, so here's another lot that'll be available tomorrow. This is all, yep, all 2020. So we got a, a Jordan Chrome, got a Gavin Lux Series 1, Horner, Aquino, Morahone, Munoz, Allen. These are all rookies, by the way. None of these are inserts. And for example, this entire lot would be 20 bucks plus shipping. If uh, let's be honest, if the Jordan gets graded and it grades as a 10, you're already paid out. There's also a Nico Horner that could get graded. There's also uh, a Gavin Lux that they, they can get graded. So in my opinion, it's well worth the Aquino too. Um, so this would be 20 bucks plus shipping. So like, honestly, just any of these top four cards, if they got graded, would be would pay out of uh, your thing. So anyway, I have probably like 50 of these lots. Um, we'll see how many I can get through before I absolutely lose, run out of steam tomorrow. Um, oh, there we go. Here's, a, here's another 2017 one. Most of them are, are organized by either team, by player, or by year. We got another 2017. Um, this is the Bellinger. So Frizzy and... By the way, go feel free to subscribe to one another. Rob Hirsch is here. Don't talk to robots. JVK is here. The Wilson PC. Frizzy Ant. RJ is here, but I know he doesn't have a channel. And he doesn't like it when I mention that um, because people go to subscribe, but he doesn't post content. Um, what are the best 2020 cards to grade? Are you talking about baseball? Are you talking about football? Are you talking about basketball? Are you talking about hockey? Um, Wilson PC, you make videos? Yes, go subscribe to Wilson PC. Anyway, here's a uh, while I'm waiting for Frizzy Ant to to clarify his question of best cards to grade. Adam's Card Mansion is here. Go subscribe to Adam's Card Mansion as well. Anyway, so this lot um, is all 2017. There's a Bellinger rookie card. Um, Hanniger, Chrome, Benintendi, Chrome, Dahl, Chrome, lots of Chrome. Mancini, Renfro, Vogelbach. There's a Dansby Swanson, Bowman Platinum. Jose Osuna, Frizian, I will get to your question in a second. Barreto, Herman Marquez. Pagan, Josh Bell, Karomaruski, Sean Newcomb, and then a Tyler Glass now. For example, um, this this whole entire lot, this entire stack will be 15 plus shipping. Honestly, the Cody Bellinger alone, I don't know what it goes for, but you know, you're getting your value just right there. Okay, best cards to grade baseball 2020. Um, some people would say uh Luis Robert. The top five would probably be Luis Robert, Bo Bichette, Jordan Alvarez, Gavin Lux, Randy Arosa, right? That's more than five. But uh, Luis Robert, Arosa Reina, Grisham, Bo Bichette, Jordan Alvarez, Aquino, Lux, um, Horner, 
And uh, I feel like I'm missing one. You guys can let me know in the comments. What, what, who, who did I miss off the top of my head? Um, as I'm completely slipping slip my mind. Um, but yeah, that would be the ones that are, you gotta excuse me, I got a lot going on. So anyway, I, I'm just going through the preview of what the card sale, I gotta, I gotta mention. So the break starts at 3 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. Usually it's gonna last between an hour to an hour and a half, depending on how uh, leisurely I go about it. Uh, after, directly after the break, like I'm gonna open the last pack, I'm gonna go through the recap of the cards, and then I'll go right into the uh, the live card sale. And honestly, if you bought a spot in the break, um, your shipping is gonna be free because I'm already gonna be shipping you stuff. And so that's already built into the cost of the break. Um, so it's just gonna be the cost of the lots. And I'm trying to sell everything as like a big lot instead of, um, you know, individual cards because it just, it, the shipping just kills you. Anyway, so this one I think is all, yep, this is all Dansby Swanson. I don't know how, I just randomly pulled it as Adam car, Adam's card closet pulled up. But there's a, a Bowman Swanson, one, two, three, four, five, uh, Tops Chrome. Uh, the card sale is direct tomorrow, um, directly after the break is over. Uh, and the break starts at 3 p.m. Eastern time. Although, honestly, if anyone wants to jump in and buy one of these right now, um, and if there's if someone wants to buy some right now and there's no competition, um, then you guys are welcome to buy them right now. Um, but if there is competition, we can find it. But, like, for example, this entire Dansby Swanson lot would be, like, 15 bucks plus shipping. Um, but it's like I said, if you bought into the break, it would just be 15 bucks because they already got your shipping. But anyway, like, I have uh, got Phillies. I have... Braves, I got Nationals. Um, anyway, we have more different plots. This one here, I think, is all 2020 on the top. Oh, these are all Turkey Reds. That, these are all Turkey Reds. Save it for the auction, RJ. <laughs> anyway, this is a Gavin Lux Turkey. We got a Trevor Bauer. Cy Young. It doesn't say Cy Young on it, but there's the Kyle Lewis. Kyle Lewis, super underrated. Uh, Rosario Chrome. There's a Larkin. Musual. A Robles. A Gratterall Cruz, the wizard, off to see that wizard. Anyway, these are all turkey reds. There's a Griffey Jr. I don't know. It's an interesting choice that they had Griffey as a as a um, as a red instead of a. Uh, there's an Albies, Dale Murphy, McCovey. Anyway, like this lot would probably be like fifteen bucks plus shipping. Uh, you want me to add up how many Swansons there are? Dansby, let me add them up really quick off camera. You guys talk amongst yourselves as I'm messing around. Let me see. Like look. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's thirteen Swansons in that lot, and I'm gonna be charging like fifteen bucks for it. Dansby. Ah, let me get it back in the team bag. And back in the team bag we go. Anyway, you guys can email me at any point if you want. Um, let's see what we got. Uh, let me see if I can mix it up. Here, there is a. Uh, there's one here. There's an Albies. I got an Albies lot. Super underrated Albies because he plays with Acuna. He plays in the shadow of Acuna. There's a Gallery. There's an International Affair. There's a Bowman Platinum. Stadium Club. Another Stadium Club. And then two Legends in the making. Then there's the sound of my cat eating food about three feet away from the camera. Because that's just how I roll, kids. Actually, that's how my cat rolls. She makes the rules. I just follow them. Anyway, uh, here's another lot. I'm just going to go through them. Just, it's like this is a preview. I uh, I could open packs today, but I said, you know what? Let's do a preview. There's a first uh, Bowman Chrome. I don't know why I always did that. Kyle Seeger, uh, super underrated too. Those are all Albies rookie cards. Every one of them, all from 2018. Got a couple of Snells. Honestly, most of these, um, most of the cards are either uh, Bowman firsts Rookie, regular rookie cards, a lot of Wainwrights here, or, or their inserts. So, like this one is basically all Bowman here. You got Wainwright, Wainwright, Snell, Seeger, Maeda's, and Sheets. So this is what I'm doing. I, I assembled team lots. I assembled rookie lots. Um, so I don't have to go like individually card by card. But yeah, this is kind of like a preview. Um, let me just, instead of flipping through every card, we got a Nick Senzel lot for any Reds fans. Got a Carter Key Boom. 
lot for any Washington Nationals fans. Um, I also have some football, too, and I have some hockey. Like, for example, I have a football lot, and I'm just going to sell it as one big lot for, like, 20 bucks. It's, like, it's like 100 and something rookie cards. Um, I'm not joking. There's, like, 100 and something rookie cards. I just want to unload them because they're just taking up a ton of space. And let's be honest, like, my wife is like, are you crazy? Like, why are there so many cards in this house? We live in a two-bedroom apartment. Um, <laughs> you don't need to hear from my personal life, but she's like, get rid of some of the cards. Anyway, um, this is just all White Sox. There's a, I don't know if this is a short print or not, but anyway, it's a Frank Thomas. There's a Moncada rainbow foil. Kiboom! Don't talk to robots. Maybe he, I, I, I thought you disappeared. Maybe you were watching some other video or something or raising your kids or doing something. There's a, a purple uh, Lopez. Adam Engel. This one is a Sapphire numbered at 25. There is a Sapphire Wellington Castillo numbered also at a 25. There's a uh, black border of Frank Thomas. Demonico limited edition. A Copac at a 250. And then two Palka rainbow foils. Um, Raisin cans. You know what? I don't know if you guys have seen Don't Talk to Robots. Actually, you know what? It was a comment he left. He's like, Kevin, why did you schedule a cheap card sale when I promised, I don't know if you promised your wife or you promised yourself you weren't going to spend any money this week. Well, anyway, this is all Vlad Guerrero Jr. rookie cards. There's a rookie debut. There's a stadium club. There's enough fire to one, two, three, four, five, six. Six tops fire is an archive snapshot, home run derby, and then a tops holiday. So there's your there's a Vlad lot that's gonna be like twenty bucks. Um, so it's not all just garbage. I mean, there's some good stuff. There, uh, I know I'm tooting my own horn. Uh, let's see. Did I go through? There's an entire. I'm not gonna go through all of them, but there's a stack of Robles. Uh, got a stack. This is. I think these are all Alonzo. I, I sound like I'm losing my mind, and that's probably because I am. These are all. These are all polar bear cards. All-Star Game Rookie Debut, Home Run Derby, Archive Snapshots, um, Holiday, a whole bunch of Holiday. So that's all That's all Polar Bear, if there's any. Hey, Ernie Waters, thank you for joining us. Uh, if I've ignored you in the chat, it's not on purpose. I um, You know what? There are people in life that are multitaskers, and then there is me. And uh, So anyway, we're just doing a preview. Uh, I don't know why I'm yelling. The microphone is literally like four inches away from my face. Um, I'm doing a preview of the card sale tomorrow, and uh, I mentioned it before. Um, there are people here who are entered the break, and I appreciate it, and thank you so much. You just ignore what I'm saying. If you have not entered the break, um, RJ, I'm going to – I have to go to the other room to show you the Mike Schmidt cards. Um, I will – if you want to wait for a second, I can get them. Let me give you one second. I'll be right back. Man, the, the great part about living in a two-bedroom apartment is it doesn't take long to get one from one to end to the other. So anyway, since Adam already bought the Brave slot, this is his uh, his Chipper Jones card that will be coming with him for that. Um, it's a green parallel from Target, but there's your Chipper. Um, see you later, Adam. I'll see you tomorrow probably. Um, here's the Schmidt cards. They have prices on them. So basically I went to an antique mall this weekend, and uh, I did not pay these prices, by the way. Um, Hey, Oki, how you doing? I do not have any lots of trout, um, but but I do have some Angels cards. Anyway, I did not. These are the Schmidt cards I'm talking about, but these are be going to RJ because he bought the Philly spot. He might have every single one of them. He might not, but I, I guess if you're a Mike Schmidt's to Mike Schmidt fan, uh, you can never have too many. Um, anyway, let me keep going with the preview. Um, there's well, pretty much one for every team. There's a this is all Eloy Jimenez. There's a Heritage high number. There's a rookie debut. There's two fires. There's a big league. And then there's this archives. So that would be like, I think it's like, I think it's going to be like 20 bucks. And that's all. Um, no problem. See you later, Adam. Don't work 80 hours a week. Um, that would be, uh, that's going to come back to bite you. Well, not financially. It's not. Anyway, so, um, but yeah, our, RJ, I don't know if you saw it, but, you, but those are the Schmidt cards. There's also going to be a lot. Um, these are all Chavis. All Chavis rookies, by the way, not just Chavis random cards. 
a lot of chromes, a lot of this, a lot of this. You know, most of these lots, by the way, are uh, are. I do, Ernie. I do actually have tomorrow. I'm going to be rolling out an entire stack of hockey cards, and it's going to be like twenty bucks or something plus shipping. Um, but there's like over a hundred cards, so the shipping will probably be about eight bucks because that's the cheapest I can get for that amount of cards. But yeah, there's going to be a hockey lot tomorrow for sure. And if you're the only only one interested, you'll probably be able to snag it. Um, but yeah, there's going to be a football lot that I'm selling as like one big lot for like twenty bucks. There's going to be a hockey lot. Uh, I'm not going to bust it all out right now. But, um, but yeah, there's going to be hockey, there's going to be football, and mostly baseball. Um, but, yeah, check by tomorrow. Also, here's the thing. If, um, if you're not part of the break tomorrow, if you're part of the break, obviously, I have your email. If you are not part of the break tomorrow, then feel free to email me, and that will make it a lot easier if you buy any cards tomorrow um, because then I can reach right out to you over email. Um, these are all Ben and cards. Of course, he was with, with the Red Sox at the time. He is now at Kansas City Royal. These are all rookie cards, by the way. Every last one of them. Some of them are, are rookie debuts, and some of them are just regular Chrome rookies, Bowman Chrome. Like something like this. Like all the lots are between some of them are $10 plus shipping, some are $15 plus shipping, some are $20 plus shipping. None of them are going to be more than $20 plus shipping. Um, and when I say plus shipping, if there are people in Canada, I have to charge a little bit more for shipping because it costs me like 12 bucks. Cost, I'm not joking. It costs me 12 bucks um, to ship to Canada. I can ship mostly in America for either $5 or $8, depending on how many cards you're talking about. Red Sox, we've got a Devers lot. These are all Devers rookies, every last one of them. Um, so, like I said, there's going to be tons of stuff, kind of like clearing, clearing house, making my wife happy. I don't know how many of you guys are married or how many of you guys are not married, but happy wife, happy life. Uh, and me, uh, oh, thank you, Ernie. I will, uh, just so you know, Ernie, uh, so my break is at 3 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. It's probably going to be an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Um, by the way, I'm at 27 minutes and the camera hasn't um, done this weird thing. So that's awesome. Um, by the way, tomorrow, if the, during the break, if the camera does its weird thing and I have to restart the break, you know, you guys are used to it by now. Um, but yeah, so the break's going to probably be an hour, maybe an hour and a half at the most. And then the live card sale is going to start directly after that. Um, and I'll probably do the hockey lot and the football lot immediately. It's a huge amount of cards. Um, yeah, let me check. Ernie, did you send it? Kevin's budget card breaks? Yeah, there you are. Okay, good. So I have you set. Um, ah, RJ, I'm just doing a preview. I didn't. I didn't try to like influence you. I don't want you to get. I don't want you to get a divorce. These. Uh, there's an Andrew Jones rookie. Um, Anyway, it's up to you, man. You know, you know me. I'm not like a high pressure salesman. I just offer you Bryce Harper patch cards. Um, you don't have to buy them, Rob. Har I don't know if Rob is still here. Did Rob disappear on us? Rob could buy it if he wanted to. It's up to you guys. You guys are the Phillies fans, I know. Anyway, these are all Mike Stanton back before. Um, anyway, Ernie, Ernie, I did get your email, so you're all set for tomorrow if you decide to purchase anything. Um. Anyway, like I said, it's not going to be an auction. It is going to be basically, so I'll say, here is this lot. And before I start flipping through the cards, it'll be like, I'll say like, this is going to be 15 bucks or whatever, whatever the price is plus shipping. And then basically as I'm flipping, the first person to write like 15 sold in the chat or whatever is going to get it. And then, you know, it'll show up in my chat and then I will just write down on my little list. Um, I will just write down on my little list, the first person in the chat who showed up, who said it, and then I will move on to the next slide. Um, cause then that way it gets sold. It's like a first come first serve thing. And then I don't have to do it with the auction format. Brandon Jensen, thank you for showing up. By the way, Brandon, I don't know if you have a channel. Ernie, I think you have a channel too, but, let, but go subscribe to one another and help each other out. Anyway, this lot, for example, uh, back before it was Giancarlo Stan, he was Mike Stan. We have one, two, three, three of those rookies, Josh Donaldson back when he was a catcher and, um, and back when he was in Oakland Athletic, we have four of his Bowman Chrome rookies. We got a Luis Severino, Hunter Pence Bowman Chrome rookie, David Price first Bowman, and a Jason Worth. So a whole bunch of uh, okay. Let me see if I have any cool Mariners lots. Um, I, uh, let me just see off the top of my head. Uh, I have this whole box. I like to pretend it was organized, but 
let's be honest, organization is not my strongest suit in the history of the universe. Let me just flip through because let's be honest, this is super impromptu. It looks like the Mariners that I have are going to be. Where are you, Seattle Mariners? Hold on, thanks for joining me. I don't know. Are you? Are you? Looks like the. It's not a dedicated. Um, the hockey cards. Or me, sorry, I'm all over the place. Um, the hockey cards. There's some half the stack I'd say is from the last two or three years, and then the other half the stack is from like the '90s. But the entire stack is going to be like twenty bucks. Um, don't talk to robots. Thank you for uh, for joining us and and for and I will remember not to talk to robots. Um, hopefully you'll join us tomorrow and just hang out and stuff. Anyway, I don't have a Mariners lot, but I do have about fifty Kikuchi rookies. Um, that will be that will be one lot by itself, um, and it's, it'll probably be like fifteen or twenty bucks for like fifty Kikuchi rookies. I just got tons of them, tons. But yeah, I don't have a dedicated Seattle lot, unfortunately. Um, so let me get back to it because I feel like I'm in eight hundred different. Uh, I feel like I'm in like eight hundred hundred different directions. Anyway, so I have another lot here. I think this was a mixed lot. Yeah, so different rookies from 2019 here. Edmund, oh, 2022. We got Jesus Lazardo. We got a Munoz. Gilamaguchi, Bruzdar, Noisy, Paddock, a whole bunch of Paddock. Uh, we got this cool looking Sean Reed Foley from Sapphire Rookie. Um, got this purple parallel, 299. Uh, Kyle Wright, Diamondbacks. Uh, you know what, Ernie? If the Diamondbacks do not sell out of my break tomorrow, then I will have a huge collection of Diamondbacks. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be on. I'm gonna be honest. Um, yeah. So like at the moment, my Diamondbacks slot in the break hasn't sold, and so I will be, I will be definitely having a whole bunch of Diamondbacks unless someone comes by. Um, this is just random collection of. Here's a Chris Owings rookie card. Anyway, this is all. There's some Diamondbacks. Speaking of. Uh, it's not all Diamondbacks, but a whole bunch of random rookie cards here. But yeah, if you're, uh, I off the top of my head, I don't have the cards in front of me to see if there's any Jack Lamb cards, but I can, I'll definitely go through them tomorrow if you remind me. Um, let me go through another couple more lots. Also, let me know if you guys are able to find retail. Like my local uh, Target has like a three pack slash box limit per day uh my local walmart had my local walmart went to like crazy measures it's like one pack or box per day which is insane it seems like it's hardly even worth making the drive to um um sorry i'm all over the place it's hardly worth making the drive all the way to walmart to buy one box especially since they didn't have anything awesome Anyway, so this lot I think is all all uh, autographs and parallels. So this is a Joe Creedy autograph. There's an Eric Sogard autograph, a Jeff Locke autograph, an Ar Aristi autograph, two Brigham Hill autographs. Alex Cobb, who's now with the uh, Angels, got a random commemorative card of Ichiro. A couple more autographs and a patch of Taylor Widener for Arizona, right there, numbered out of ninety nine. So yeah. Um, like I said, there's a whole bunch of random stuff. Let's see. I've just given up on retail. RJ says, saw some ASS on Facebook Marketplace. Oh, God, I shouldn't have read that beforehand. Selling Target Blaster Box. Wait, for 100 When you say a Blaster Box, do you mean the Mega Box or just like the regular Blaster Box? Um, oh, we got some. Here, there's some Diamondbacks here. So I think these are all Tops Chrome. I keep saying that. I should probably flip through them first. So this is going to be one lot too, by the way. There's like 30 cards. Um, Ernie Waters, you don't have a credit card. I don't take credit cards. I take PayPal. Do you have PayPal? Because um, PayPal is really all I have. Um, anyway, we have Alex Young. We got a Gallon Pink. Um, three Dustin Mays. Three of them. They got, they got the Soto. We got a Bryant. Got an Otani. Uh, Loriano Refractor, another Gallon Pink, Sean Murphy, Sheldon Noisy, AJ Puck. 
How Ernie, how do you usually um how do you usually pay for stuff online then? Just just curious. Gallon. Cause I wanna see, like if you want to buy something, I gotta figure out how you would get the money to me, for example. So you let me know. RJ, it was a mega box, but a hundred dollars. Um and, or let me know through the through the chat. Like, how do you usually pay for stuff online? Um, because I, I got there has to be some kind of a, a way to, to get the payment from you. Um, let's see what else we got. I don't know what. Why did I throw this in here? Got a couple more to go through. Uh, all right, I think it was a mega box. Hundred dollars for a mega box. Just so you know, like the mega boxes, I think they're forty bucks plus tax. So a hundred bucks, that's a crazy markup. Look, if it was football or basketball, I see people doing that. But let's be honest, for a you can buy on eBay, you can buy a mega box for I think, mm, I think like maybe 50 or 60, including shipping, hundred bucks. Or you send money in the mail. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess, yeah, I guess you could send the money in the mail and then when I get it, I'd send you the cards. Um, where are you located in America or are you located in, in, in a different country, Ernie? Um, Sobrero's family budget breaks is here. RJ is here. Oki, Oki is still here. Josh Steiner is here. I'm not ignoring anyone. I'm trying to uh, be inclusive. I'm just all over the place. Here's another lot. Uh, Verdugo, who is now with the Red Sox. Uh, Meadows. This is, this is, there are a lot of people who uh, are not playing with those teams anymore because Meadows is playing with the Rays. See, like that would be like a $10 lot. Um, kind of thing. Just today's little mi mixture, you know, trying to make it easy to, to move cards in bulk. Um, this one I think is just all inserts. Uh, this is a die cut of Ted Williams. Sobreros, thank you for joining us. Ernie, so you're in Illinois. Okay, yeah, we could, I'm sure we could work something out. Um, yeah, this is all inserts of parallels. Castro, we got Ian Miller, Blue, Alex Young, Bo Bichette rookie debut, Bo McCroma, Bo. This is a cool Ted Williams uh, photo variation. Darwinson, a couple of Kyle Tuckas, Cody Bellinger. Look at that cool 2017, a couple of Barry Zitos. You know, that lot would probably be about, I think, 15 bucks or so. Anyway, uh, let's see. You know what? I might be able to actually open some packs because I think I'm running out of. Actually, you know what? There's a couple. There's some more lots. Never mind. Ah, I got some Bowmans. Um, if you guys like Bowman, I got a bunch of Bowman cards that I'll be looking to move to. These are the M Bowman Chrome uh, Mega Box. I don't know if it shows up. Just so you know, like my lighting situation is a lot better during the daytime. It is pitch black outside, and so my lighting is not fantastic. But I'm going to be moving this entire lot of Bowman Chrome. Leody Taveras, he's got a rookie card. There's a Bayron Laura, and then a bunch of. Random cool. And then there's a Michael Toglia and a Bobby Bradley and stuff like that. So we got stuff like that. I know I feel like I said that 800 times. God, you're 40 years old, man. Get your stuff together. Then uh, we have regular Bowman. Oh, sorry. We have uh, we got Talent Pipeline here. We got tons of Bowman here. We got a whole bunch of Talent Pipelines. We got the... Uh, Diamondbacks, we got the A's, we got the Nationals. Let's see RJ. This year I bought one hobby box. Cost me $220. $220? Was that a jumbo or was that just a regular hobby box? Um there you got a Bobachet, got a Rosarena, Gavin Lux. So this is a cool lot. There's a Wander Franco. Look at that. Two Alec Baum cards. Colton Welker, Christian Robinson, Will Wilson, Forrest Whitley. So for example, like that entire Bowman lot would be like 20 bucks. Um, and like first one to take it kind of thing. Um, got every card in series one plus extras and inserts that I'm trading away for more stuff I want. No reason to buy retail. And I still get tons of great stuff from Kevin. Yes. And you get more sleeves than you know what to do with. You know, what you don't get a lot of is top loaders because I can get sleeves for almost nothing. Top loaders, like good luck. I I'm like conserving my top load, my top loaders. I have tons of sleeves though. So here's some, another Bowman lot. These are all the, uh, I think they're 90, 90 throwbacks. There's an Adele, Scherzer. It's cool that a lot of the, there's a Pache. There's a Wander. So this this would be all sold as as one lot as well. 
I think there's five or six different uh, Bowman lots. We got Kyle Lewis, Gavin Lux. But yeah, like this lot would be twenty bucks. Um, it is not. It is not the first Bowman to wander. I'll, I'll show you what it is. So there's your Kyle Lewis, by the way. I know I flipped through him quickly. Let me find and go back to it. The wander is no. The first Bowman of uh, wander is like worth like a hundred bucks or something. It's a span in the globe of wander. It's not a first though. There's a Pache and stuff like that. Um, so that would be something if it was just like a regular wander uh, first. Uh, speaking of people who are um, getting in the majors now, got a Mount Castle, Bowman Chrome, a uh, Kellenick. There's a Mariners one. Ian Anderson, Amaya, Riley Green. This is all going to be sold as one lot too. There's a right. There's a, a Wander Bowman Chrome. Leody Tavares. A lot of these guys have rookie cards in Series 1 this year. Tristan Cassis, Cassis, Nolan Gorman, Grant Little, Cabrian Hayes, Madrigal, Bardinho, Evan White. I'd say like half the people in this lot have rookie cards in Series 1. Um, and in Bowman, who knew? But yeah, like this lot would be like 20 bucks plus shipping, you know, that kind of thing. I got another one here that also, I spread the Wanderers out. Um, there's another Wander right there. It's not a first, but it is Wander. Capusano, Denneberg, Kybert. He's got a rookie card in Series One. Spencer Howard. He's got a rookie card. There's another. Al there's an Alec Baum, Bowman Chrome, Ian Anderson, Hans Kraus. So, like I said, I got a bunch of Bowman, Luis Garcia, bunch of Bowman that I will be moving also during the card sale. So there's going to be a lot of cool stuff. I hope you guys. Show up, um, purchase things. If you just want to like see cool cards, that will be awesome as well. I gotta admit, because um, I don't know, I got a lot of random stuff. What else? Do I have anything else that I haven't shown you? Um, so there's a couple more lots, but I'm not gonna dig them all out. If you guys are still hanging out, I can open up some series one right now. That's not gonna be a part of the break. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll pull some cool stuff. So if you feel like sticking around, let me get. Let me get some sleeves and let me get some packs and I'll open up some impromptu uh, series one, just like right here on the hangout. That'd be cool. Well, yeah, that is your, that is your preview of uh, the card sale. Uh, once again, it's going to be directly after the break. Um, directly after the break tomorrow, uh, all the lots are either $10, $15 or $20 plus shipping. And it's not going to be an auction. It's just going to be, you know, like I'll say like this lot, I'll say like this lot is 15 bucks. First person to type in 15 sold is going to get it. And then um, I'll look at the chat as I'm flipping through the cards. And the first person's name who shows up that says that 15 sold will get the entire lot. And then basically I'll write down the, uh, write down the names. And at the end of the thing, I will email people or they can email me and then we will organize the total. As, as far as shipping, if you're part of the break, um, the most you're going to pay is nothing for shipping. Um, if you're not, um, if you're not part of the break, the most you're going to pay for shipping is like 850. Cause I could fit like hundreds of cards. I'm not joking. I can fit like two or 300 cards. Very dollars. Let's see. Um, Ernie waters are looking for anything. I'm not quite sure what you're, what, can you clarify? Oh, okay, you need to get some more people watching you. Um, does shout out sometimes, and I've seen people get like a thousand subscribers from that. Thank you so much for the kind words. Yeah, I mean, I don't get me wrong. I'm trying to get up there. He is, the old family is about 75,000 subscribers ahead of me, I'd say. He's a lot. Uh, if you want to hold on for a second, I'm going to get some packs, and I'll open up some Series 1 in a minute. I'll just run in the back and grab them. All right, I am back. 
Um, see you tomorrow, RJ. I hope the break goes really, really well. I hope that I pull you some awesome stuff. I hope you get some cool stuff over from the past is alive. Should be super fun. Um, Kev Brado, thank you so much. A fellow Kevin, a fellow Kevin. How cool is that? Thank you for joining. I really appreciate it. Uh, Kevin's got a, okay. Uri says, Kevin, are you looking for anything? Um, well, I mean, when it comes to, when you mean when it comes to the cards, like, am I looking to pull anything good? In particular, or like when it comes when it comes to the card sale, I'm looking to like move some cards so that uh, my wife doesn't like go go nuclear. Um, oh, you just changed your name. Okay, yeah. I was like, is this a different Kevin? Like, I know Kevin's cards. Um, oh, car cards wise, honestly, Ernie, like I am. I love opening packs, and so generally, what I do is I open the packs. And then all the good stuff, that's just a random, uh, all the good stuff, I tend to try to sell it so that I can buy more packs. Because to me, like everyone has different things. Like some people collect certain players, some people collect certain teams, and some people just like opening packs. And for me, I just, I get like the thrill of the mystery of what can be, um, what could be in the packs. And so I basically, everything that's good, I try to unload so that I can open more packs. Thank you, Kevin, for stopping by. Um, yeah, you got to support the fellow Kevins. Um, let me just open up a little bit of series one and see what's in here. I know there's a bunch of other live streams going on. Um, I ran out of, I ran out of lots to open. So let's go through. We got three regular gravity feed packs. I got a fat pack. And if anyone's still around, I can open the hanger box too. Uh, of course, series one, we're looking for the longest list of rookies I've ever heard. There's a uh, Alec Baum. Ryan Mountcastle, Dylan Carlson, Nate Pearson, Luis Garcia. Um, any certain players that I collect. Honestly, like I like Nationals because my favorite baseball team is the Washington Nationals. So, um, but I'm kind of trying to trim back. On honestly, at the moment, like I'm trying to. It's like a weird phase for me where I'm trying to unload a bunch of cards so that I can get more packs. At the moment, is is the kind of situation. Um, I'm not trying to put it on my wife. It's a but like there's a. I live in a two bedroom and there's not a ton of room and we have two cats and there's just not a ton of space. Um, but yeah, like Washington Nationals is my main uh, collection. So let's see if we will pull anything cool. Is that an insert? Oh, let's take an insert. I got some packs. CV baseball card collector. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, I CV. I don't know if you've um, I don't know if you saw it, but I have a break going tomorrow, and I have a card sale going tomorrow. And there's a bunch of spots still available for the break, and they're super cheap prices, and they come with guaranteed packages. So look at my last two videos, and if you're interested, send me an email. There's a ton of spots left, and there's a ton of guarantees. So anyway, and there's this break is probably predominantly series one tomorrow. And then I also have some 2020 and some older stuff. So we got a Gio Gonzalez. We got a Contreras. Let's see if we'll pull one of the big rookies. There's a trout, but it's just a regular trout. Bieber. Got a Cattell Marte, Javi Baez. The one thing I've noticed about series one is you tend to either get like a large collection of rookies all in one. Um, all in one string or you get like no rookies. Ernie says, I collect old wax box and brought two 3,200 count boxes of hockey. Yes, CV, I know. I watch your channel. And honestly, I'm going to be honest. It's really depressing sometimes because I go in there and I watch it. And I think there's a Yachty insert. I think, man, the guy's going to find the mother load. And then you just don't. And I feel like I got to play the sad trombone music for you. But yeah, there's a future stars of Brendan McKay. That pack was a bust to roost you. Yeah, so if you, um, CV, if you want to join in, a bunch of spots left. Um, I have the most up-to-date list on, on my last video. Go look at the guarantees. Tons. I, I think there's going to be 700 cards from Series 1 opened tomorrow. So you might want to get in. Um, <laughs> so let's see. Let's pull some rookies because that would be awesome because I'm opening these packs. we got a, a Chrome in here of inserts. So we got a Goodwin or Godwin, sorry, Bauer. A lot of red. Look at this. Three reds in a row to start out. 
LeMayhew. Michael A. Taylor, who's now with the Royals. Gio Urshela. Mejia. Seeger and... Oh my goodness! RJ left at the wrong time. And Alec Baum. Chrome. Rookie card. Look at that! Look at that! I don't know how much it's worth, but it is super cool. Look at that. Alec Baum. Man, he's going to regret leaving. I'll have to let him know about it later. Is Rob Hirsch still here? I don't think he is, because if he was still here, he probably would have mentioned it. Is this? Oh, my God. This is a short print. This is not the regular Luis Garcia rookie. This is the short print version. The question is, is it a super? It is a 230 code. So I think it's just a regular short print. But look at that. Luis Garcia and a Baum Chrome. Man, I'm glad I opened I glad I opened these packs. That was worth it just for the wow. I don't know how much they're worth offhand, but I'll say you can't go wrong. White Sox and a uh, post game hand wash. Um Sobreros, thank you so much for the congratulations. I'm not trying to ignore anyone in the chat. Yeah, that was super cool. I mean, a short print rookie card. Um CV, honestly, this design reminds me so much of Bowman last year. A lot of people were saying it reminds them of Donruss and or Optic. Um, but to me, it just reminds me a lot of Bowman last year. And I love Bowman. I mean, I don't know about you guys, what you guys think of Bowman, but I, I dig it. Um, I think that this design also, when Topps Chrome comes out, I forget when it comes out, the summer maybe. Um, I think these cards are going to be super, are going to be amazing in, in Chrome. Um, Cause look at this, for example, this is a Chrome insert. Look how cool that looks. You know, all the cards are going to look like that. It's going to be sweet. Oh, uh, Oki, I really like the 2018. Yeah, I honestly, um, a lot of people, here's the thing I've noticed. Like everyone gets really picky and complains about designs. I don't know. I like, I mean, I like them. There's, I'm trying to think of the last year that I didn't like the design. And I can't think of one off the top of my head. But people, look, a lot of people are graders and they talk about centering. I don't grade the cards. I sell them raw. So I can see if you, um, there's a Castellani. If uh, if you want to grade and stuff, I can see why people will get upset. So look, uh, in terms of collation, as I brought up before, you usually get a bunch of rookies or you don't get rookies. And so like, for example, got a Castellani and a Heath. Uh, neither one of them were the big names. But you know what? Last year, I pulled a Rosarena and Kyle Lewis and Grisham cards left and right. Didn't sleep them up for the most part. Put them in a box. And then look at now. Now Rosarena and Grisham are like two of the really good ones to have. Um, Ernie, thank you so much. Um, yeah, I mean, it's never too late to start a channel. You could just do mail day videos. Um, or, you know, don't, you don't need to have, I mean, you don't need to have a channel. If you just enjoy the hobby, that's, that's totally fine too. Like you do it your way. Uh, we got a Bregman insert. Uh, Garrett Richards. I feel like we got this collation. I got this exact collection. By the way, he Jock Peterson is with the Cubs. And yeah, I got that exact collation. So honestly, though, three packs, three, three gravity feed packs. And we got two regular rookies, a short print, and a baum. Super cool. So I got a fat pack. This one is from Walmart. And it contains one royal blue base parallel. I really feel like uh, Walmart has got the really cool stuff this year because they get the the royal blue base parallels and uh target got the cody bellinger inserts now don't get me wrong cody bellinger is awesome but i would rather get like a blue parallel of like baum or something cool um I, I almost wish the target had red parallels instead of um they do have the green parallels in the blister packs anyway let me get to it so there are 40 cards in here i think i paid 6.99 the fat packs used to be I felt like they, I feel like they used to be four ninety nine, or maybe five ninety nine, but they were definitely cheaper because six ninety nine um, has gone up in price. Definitely gone up in price. Definitely. Like I said, I plugged it before. If you want to join the break, that would be awesome. If you just want to stop by, uh, it's three p.m. Eastern time, and then the card sales afterwards. <gasps> Oh, that's a good fat pack. Straight up, right off the top, we got a Christian Pache. Man, I'm glad I just decided to randomly, um, randomly open some some packs. There's a Pache rookie added to the cool pile here. Let's see, uh, I'll be looking for Mount Castle tomorrow and Joe Adele, but 
but I'm trying to get a collection of all the top rookies from this year. A couple of them are really going to have great careers. I agree. So, for example, um, it's hard to – there's so many rookies, it's hard to name them all off. But there's Baum, there's Adele, there's Garcia, there's Pache, there's Mountcastle, there's Dylan Carlson. Uh, there's about nine – I think I targeted about um, – um, anyway – I think there's about 19 or so really big rookies, which is a lot more than there was last year. Because last year it was like, at the beginning, it was Bichette, Aquino, Alvarez, Lux, and Horner, and then Luis Roberts in Series 2. And then a Rosarena, and Grisham kind of stormed the scene later, and Kyle Lewis stormed the scene later too. Uh, but still, that's only like eight rookies, where there's like 19 this year. There's oh, Leody Tavares, there's a trout. Uh, Leody Tavares, um, if you look at collation again, so we've only opened three regular gravity feed packs and now, now this fat pack and this Castellani is followed by the Nick Heath both times. Um, ooh, and there's a Tristan McKenzie for the Cleveland Indians. So we got three rookies so far. So four, no four rookies. Um, I've noticed that the, the Dalbeck and the Joey Bart and the Mount Castle and the uh, the Baum tend to be in a different set of collation for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. We got a Chrome in here. So let me... And it is Goldschmidt Chrome. So let me sleeve that up for any Cardinals fans. And then the... Oh, we got a Mount Castle right there. We got a Mount Castle. That is super cool. And then the blue, I spoiled it, is a Lorenzo Kane. Man, so I have done pretty well so far in this random, random pack opening. So we got a Lorenzo Kane Royal Blue. Of course, you're looking for like a Baum or a Mount Castle. You only get one in the fat pack, though. Um, there's a Devers insert, an Alonzo insert. Is there going to be another series of rookies? Let's see. Odorizzi, Harper, Yates. Also, the the short prints are usually backwards, but that Luis Garcia short print was not, which is very strange. I know I'm getting into like analyzing stuff, but uh, looks like we're running dry on. Yep, we're running dry on the rookies there. But you know what? That was still a solid. Uh, I like the. <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't know. We might be able to pull one for you tomorrow. We'll see. I mean, anyway, I do have one more thing here. It's a, there's two exclusive Royal. This is from Walmart. You're guaranteed two Royal blue base parallels. There's 67 cards in here. Obviously it'd be awesome to get like a Mount castle and a bound blue. I might just like fall out of my chair or an Adele or a Carlson. You know what? Hold on. I got to open this. Oh, I need to should have brought my scissors. With me. There we go. I think that people love it when you struggle to open packages. The one cool thing about the hangers is it opens from the side instead of the bottom or the top now, which makes it so much easier. In my experience, the hangers have been the best format for me, and fat packs are second. Um, let's see if that holds up. The blasters have been like a distant, and then the mega boxes are probably third. But for me, I love hangers. Um, because the fat packs, I, I generally really enjoy the fat packs, but they can get damaged cards, whereas I rarely get damaged cards out of a hanger. So let's see. This will probably be the end of it because I've been on for about an hour. Um, like I said, go check out my last two videos if you're interested in the break because um, I have probably 10 to 15 spots left, and there's $10 spots and there's $15 spots. we got a Debbie Garcia rookie right off the top. He's been a tough pull for me. Um, there's a nice rookie right at the top. Um, let me get to about the middle. Oh, we got a gold card. Let me put it over here. So we have Means. He's got the Means. Giolito. Uh, Galvis. Jacoby Jones. Future stars of Justin Dunn. Ooh, we got a Monte Harrison. So he's he was not on my list, but yeah, he's also... There's like 51 rookies, I believe, in this set. There we go. We got a... Joey Bart. I think I did a, a calculation last time 
Ooh, it's a good one. This is a good hanger box. I can tell right away. Um, each hanger box, you tend to get between like six to eight rookies. Although one hanger box, I got as many as 13. It was like, it must've been like a hot hanger box or something ridiculous. Um, Cause look, we've already gotten four rookies. So we got a Dylan Carlson here. And not just rookies. We got some good ones here. So we've got a Debbie Garcia, a Joey Bart, and a Monte Harrison already. And we still got a bunch of cards left. We also have a Brandon Bialak. So let's see if we follow the, the pattern of um, – let's see if we follow the pattern of six to eight rookies or a hot box of 13 rookies. And these hanger boxes, I think, are $11.99 plus tax. That's why I'd rather get two hanger boxes for the – instead of one blaster. Um, cause the blaster, you get the, the coin or the med medallion coin, whatever you call it. And, uh, you get fewer cards. I'd much rather get two hanger boxes. Honestly, you get better. You tend to get, Ooh, we got more rookies. The universe decided to shut me up. There's a Cody Whitley. So that's rookie number one, two, three, four, five. This is the sixth rookie. So we should get anywhere between two and five more rookies out of one hanger box. Anyway, back to it. We got a Estrebski. There's a Jesus Sanchez rookie. Like I said, a bunch of rookies. Um, so, oh, you guys are just talking amongst each other about uh, Facebook. So that's cool. Uh, Corbin, Tony Kemp, Jay Bruce. And uh, we got a gold coming up here, but let me let me skip toward after that. Let me save that for the end. So we have uh, landscape cards of Meadows, a Gardener, Guriel. I'm not trying to ignore anyone. I'm just trying to flip through the cards. Um, so I do apologize if I missed one of your comments. Manny Machado. It's a cool looking one. So it's just the base card, but oh, I also forgot. So Paredes for the Tigers, Casey Mize for the Tigers, Tariq Skubal. There's a Ian Anderson. We got more, we got more rookies. So we got an Ian Anderson for the Braves. He pitched really well in the playoffs. He uh he almost got him to the series. We got a Chadwick. Trump for the Giants. We have the Angels team card. Uh, Gossman, Scherzer. Man, look at, look at that expression on Scherzer's face, huh? Look at that. Uh, Dodgers team card. Garrett Richards. The Grominator. Jack Peterson with the Cub Ruskies now. Gotten this, the Grom card, I think, four times in like three or four packs. Crazy. Gotten this future stars, Brandon McKay. I'm looking... They keep putting him as pitcher DH. I still want to see him hit, hit a ball. Um, I know he could pitch, but I want to see if he's a good hitter. Oh, back to more rookies. We got, oh, just one rookie this time. Edward Olivares. So let me count up. What do we have? Four, six, seven, eight, nine. We got, we've got. we gotten 10 rookies so far. Sobreros, thank you so much for uh, joining. Have a great rest of your night, by the way. Um, did we? Okay. No, Albert Abreu. Oh my goodness. I think we've gotten 12 rookies so far in this one hanger box. Crazy. See, this is why um, this is why I'd rather get two hanger boxes over one blaster every day of the week. Because there's a, a Brayu and there's a Scooble. I'm running out of rookie. I'm looking at running out of spots. Um, we haven't gotten to the middle part. So we still have this many cards left in this hanger box. We've already gotten two, four, six, eight. 10. We've gotten 12 rookie cards out of this hanger box so far. This is why two hanger boxes over, over one blaster. So there's a Sogard, Malik Smith. Now, this is not normal. Usually I get between six and eight, but still six and eight is good. We got a gold, and it is a Ben Benintendi, who is now with the Kansas City Royals. But in this shot, he is with the Boston Red Sox. Golds look cool this year. Of course, numbered out of 2021, but there's a Ben Benintendi. We still got this much left. Um, Strasburg. Oh, look at that. Regular Alec Baum. Regular Alec Baum. And go follow it up. Man, I'm running out of room. Next card. Dylan Carlson rookie card. Man, this hanger box. I paid um, paid $11.99 plus tax for this. And let me just go through like the whole stack. I'm running, I'm running out of room, man. But I got a couple more. Goldschmidt. Got a Rendon. And then the two blues are Eduardo Escobar and an Aquino. And then we have a Wade Bog 70 years and a Colorado Rockies. So 
Let me uh, let me go through. <laughs> These were in previous uh, packs, but we got this Baum Chrome here. We got this Luis Garcia short print. Got a Pache rookie. Got the Mount Castle rookie insert, and then the hanger box just by itself produced. Um, how many? Let me count it up. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Um, 12 regular rookies and then two insert rookies. So the two insert rookies were the Baum and the Carlson. Uh, we also got this Benintendi gold. Um, we got this Aquino future stars blue. We got Bart, Monta Harrison, Dylan Carlson, Brandon Bielek, Cody Whitley. You can't see him, but I'll put him up here. You can't see him. What am I talking about? Craziness. A Debbie Garcia, Jesus Sanchez. Tariq Skubal, Albert Abreu, Edward Olivares, Chadwick Trump, and Ian Anderson. So anyway, that's just like your little preview or whatever. Like I said, uh, live card sale is taking place directly after the break. The break itself is happening at 3 p.m. Eastern time. So the live card sale will probably be about 4 or 4.30 Eastern. The live card sale is going to be um, $10 lots, $15 lots, $20 lots, plus shipping. And... Um, if you're already part of the break, then the shipping is going to be free because I built it into the cost of the break. All that kind of stuff. It should be a lot fun. Hoping to move a whole bunch of cards and have a good time. So join me tomorrow. And like I'll say one more time, uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't. And um, I will see you tomorrow. And go check out the teams that are still... Actually, you know what? I can just mention the teams that are still available. Because um, I got my list right here. The teams that are still available at the current time that I'm filming this. The $15 teams. Uh, Reds, you can get for $15. The Cubs. The White Sox, the Mariners, the Astros, the Red Sox, the Rays, the Padres, the Cardinals, the Giants, and the Nationals. Those are all $15 each. Uh, the $10 each teams are the Indians, the Twins, the Brewers, the Rangers, the Marlins, the A's, the Diamondbacks, and the Rockies. The $10 teams are a two-team minimum, just for shipping reasons. Um... Anyway, so if you want any other teams, email me, Kevin's Budget Card Breaks at gmail.com. It's first come, first serve. Um, I'm probably going to be going to sleep in about an hour. So uh, yeah, email me, Kevin's Budget Card Breaks at gmail.com. Like Oki is saying, um, Ernie, send me an email to your with a link to your Facebook page. Um, and make it easier than me having to like scroll through random Facebook. Um, Oki, they're going good. I've got some cards in the past couple weeks. Um, CV wants the Padres. So CV email me, you know, my email address. Okay. I'm looking to unload a Jason Dominguez first pro man. Okay. Um, uh, anyway, I, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully, uh, you, even if you're not part of the break or you don't want to be on the card sale, just come by and join us. There's going to be a live stream. It's going to be a lot of fun. And, uh, man, this pack opening was super cool. Uh, take care and, uh, all the best. Bye.